Hey, how you doing? Jeff from Deep Cycle Battery coming at you with the very first episode of what we call Battery Shootout. In this series of videos, we're going to take similar batteries made by different companies and explain to you the cranking ability, the performance, the cost, the warranty, so you can make a good decision. And as you can see here, we have the Optima Red Top, Yellow Top, and we have a Full River HC65. The similar characteristics of these batteries are the fact that they are liquid-free AGM high-performance batteries. They will work in your everyday car. Some people use them for racing because they're vibration resistant, but it, this translates into a long-lasting battery. Let's talk about the Optima first. The question we get uh, most frequently about the Optimas is what's the difference between the red top and the yellow top and which one should I use? The very best thing to understand is when you look at the Optima battery, whether it be a red top or yellow top, look at the color of the case. This black case here tells you that this battery is a starting battery. The gray case, whether it be a, a yellow top or, or a blue top, even if it's uh, yellow or blue, with the gray case, it'll tell you it's a dual purpose. Now, the blue top battery is for boats because it has a marine terminal and it's made to start. This yellow top battery is a dual purpose starting battery and, and a cycling battery. So that means you can run electronics, stereo systems, movie players, lights. A lot of ambulances today, the fire response team, they'll use the yellow tops. Um, so that explains the difference. So remember, dark case is starting, yellow top, I mean, uh, gray case is for dual cycling. Now these batteries, again, are all similar to the fact that they're liquid free. Now let's talk about the specs. The Red Top Optima has a thousand cranking amps and 800 cold cranking amps. So what's the difference? Cranking amps are a measurement of the battery's amps at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold cranking amps, or CCA, is a measurement of the battery's cranking ability at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Now, it's, I'm in San Diego. We don't see a lot of zero degrees. So probably the, the cranking amps is a more relevant measurement for you. Now, if you're back east or midwest and you got to deal with that, then you want to know what the battery's cold cranking amps are. So again, the red top has a measurement of 1,000 CA. The yellow top has a measurement of 800 and 70 CA. But again, remember because the yellow top has this gray case, this has the ability to perform a cycling or a deep cycling ability, and it has a measurement of 55 amp hours. So that means you can power equipment, like I said, explained. These are two good batteries. Unfortunately, I have had some history of having the red top being returned uh, prematurely for warranty. And for that reason, we only, our shop only gives the uh, red top and yellow top and blue tops a one year warranty. The price of the red top is $160 with exchange. The yellow top is $180 with exchange. Now over here is a very uh, well-made battery that I'm actually very excited about. It's called the Full River HC65. And the reason why I like it is because I, in my personal opinion, it has the ability to outperform both of these batteries. And the price is very good. This HC65 has 1,000 CAs, like the red top. It has 65 amp hours, so it has more than the yellow. So this battery is the best of both of these. This one retails for $175 and has a two-year warranty. The terminals on this have the top post terminals, and then it has the side post terminals for GM General Motor cars. And what I like about the terminals is, I don't know if you can see it, but they are brass. They are not lead terminals. They're actually high-quality brass terminals, which are very good for conducting, okay, as you can see. And the top posts are brass also. So it's a very, very good uh, indication of, the, of this manufacturer's um, adherence to quality that they, they would give you brass terminals. On the Optimas, we have lead terminals. And so in a nutshell, when you do a battery shootout, you want to know the battery specs. And again, the, the yellow HC65 is an AGM battery like this. Because this is a flat plate battery and these are spiral cells, it's the belief that the flat plate has more surface area, there's more lead, there's more cranking ability with this battery. This is a little bit heavier battery as well with the Optimus. We have some dead space here between the plates. And um, anyway, Optima has the, the, the brand and the reputation. Unfortunately, now they're being produced uh, down in Mexico and the quality has just not been the same. I think the yellow tops are still a good battery, um, but given the choice, I'd probably go with the HC65, given that I have a little bit less cost, I have a little bit more warranty, and I have a little bit better materials. Anyway, that's Jeff on my battery shootout. Keep checking us out. We're gonna go through a series of batteries that are similar, made by different companies, to give you the specs and the price and the warranty so you make a good decision. Thanks for watching our video. Keep checking. If you have any questions, shoot us an email. We'll gladly address them here. Talk to you soon.